Okay, so think, think about this just for a second. To hear that you have a disabling neurological condition like multiple sclerosis can be devastating. Many people say that's the sort of thing in your life where you say there was life before and then there was life after, but it's important to know that you are not alone. As a matter of fact, according to the Healthline Networks, about half a million people in the United States have MS. There are about two and a half million cases throughout the world. Although you can develop MS at any age, most cases are diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 40. And every single day, there is an average of 200 more cases being diagnosed. And MS has touched many people right here on Delmarva, including a recent Salisbury University graduate, Julie Cates. Julie is living with multiple sclerosis, but continues to keep a positive attitude. Julie was also a member of Alpha Sigma Tau at SU, whose philanthropic effort is to help find a cure for multiple sclerosis. The Sisters of AST helped raise more than $10,000 last year alone, and she would be at the local walks this year, but she's getting married, so <laughs> congratulations, Julie. That's awesome. Now, when it comes to multiple sclerosis, right now there are very few treatment options on the market. That is until recently, when the FDA, after much deliberation, approved a drug called Lymtrada, a once per year treatment. MS patients and some doctors alike believe it's a miracle drug. And the man you're about to meet, both a doctor and a patient, is no different. Dr. David Goldblatt spent nearly three decades helping diagnose multiple cases of multiple sclerosis. But 14 years ago, tables turned. I woke up one morning and I was completely without a sense of touch from my waist down. So I couldn't feel anything. A few days later, Dr. Goldblatt got the diagnosis. He had MS. It's a crushing thing for someone who's been otherwise healthy. Suddenly, uh, they have this looming diagnosis. The doctor turned patient was now battling debilitating symptoms. He signed up for the Lymtrada study and was one of the first trial patients in North America. After only a few treatments, he claims it changed his life. That's the last time I took any medicine for MS. And that's the last time I had any new symptoms. As of late last year, Lemtrada has been approved worldwide, but not without a few hoops to jump through first. The FDA denied it a few years back due to disagreements over the way trials were conducted. Goldblatt calls that a mistake. I testified in front of the panel uh, in Washington. Um, I urged them to approve it. Amidst the other therapies that are available for MS, it is a scalpel in the presence of sledgehammers and it is the best drug that's ever been developed for MS to my knowledge to, to date. Dr. Edward Fox, the director of a multiple sclerosis clinic, applauds the move by the FDA. He says the unmet need in MS remains high, but it is a great day for people living with relapsing forms of MS in the United States who will now have access to this new meaningful treatment. Now it's important to note there has been some criticism of Lymtrada due to its potential serious side effects, including an increased risk of thyroid cancer, melanoma, and lymphoid diseases. Obviously, it's best to speak with your doctor if you have any questions. For a perfectly healthy person, it may be difficult to understand what living with MS is like, but there's at least one woman who understands it all too well. So, joining us today is Lori Giampa of Berlin, who is living with multiple sclerosis. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Uh, let me ask you this. Take me back to when you were first diagnosed. What was, what was going on? I was falling a lot. I was getting a little numb. I was unsure of what was actually happening and what was going on in my body. So um, I went to the doctor because I was having a little numb feeling. I was falling. I wasn't feeling everything. I wasn't yeah. feeling all parts of my body. And so. what happened when he told you it was MS? I was sort of kind of crushed of what will this disease that has no cure um, be like and what will it do? Because you didn't even, you hadn't even really heard of it. I never heard of it, so I knew that I just needed to look up and find out exactly what, what it is and right. what I need to do. So the diagnosis changed your life a lot. Significant, significantly. Yeah. You know, I didn't know where to go or what to do or all I did know is I needed to remain positive and 
and just think that these two little letters called MS was not going to change my life or run my life, and that was my main goal. That's a great attitude. Yeah. Yeah. So how have you been treating your MS? Right now I'm on a drug um, called Delinea, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been on many drugs, and uh, my body becomes used to drugs, and I go from one drug to another drug, and uh, so that's why fundraising is so important, because I need to get on a new drug every couple of years. Once your body gets used to the one you've used been on. Used to the one mm -hmm. that I'm on. How about that? So I guess your husband and your son have been a great support system. Absolutely. Yeah? Tell me about what they're doing. What's Absolutely. going on? It's, they're wonderful. They're by my side. They can tell when mom's having a bad day mm -hmm. or the MS is acting up. Um, my husband and son are both great. Yeah. They're, they're wow. my main support besides family and friends. And yeah. you had your son after the diagnosis. Correct. And that, Correct. How, how was that met with your doctors? Um, doctor didn't really want me to have any. Didn't mm -hmm. want me to, and I knew the man upstairs was the main decider. So I uh, tried one time and uh, that's all it took. Now, your son accompanied you on an MS walk one time. Correct. Tell when he was five? That. He was five, and he did the walk. And of course, not the whole walk. He was in a carriage. And um, he said, well, Mom, I'm done the walk. And uh, now that I've completed the walk, does that mean your MS is gone? Aww. And uh, I will tell you, it broke my heart. And I said to him, I said, I wish it was that easy, Frank. Yeah. But I said, don't you worry, because mom's not going to keep biting. There you go. And it is so, a positive attitude. And it is. Have, it's yeah. a positive attitude, and I will say power and prayer. So I'm what a strong, would you, strong what would, believer. What would you tell someone who's just been diagnosed? Since Stay been strong. Di Stay mm -hmm. strong. Do not allow two little letters to run your life. Mm -hmm. um, I always say it's just a little, two letters that live within your body. I want to say a beast that lives within your body, but... Uh, but Just you're not going to give it that much credit, are Heck you? No. <laughs> Heck no. Heck <laughs> no. you are no. fantastic. So how can we help your team? Um, it's just a matter of the walks, the walk that is coming up in Ocean City mm -hmm. on April 11th. And um, okay. I do have a team that's walking as well called Lori's Angels. Yeah. And I brought that team from Pennsylvania to Ocean City. And um, I strongly believe that without the money and without the fundraising support that the MS Society does get, we won't get the funds that we do need. Right. And there's another walk in Salisbury In Salisbury, as well. correct, the mm -hmm. following day. Okay. And on that's the April 12th. 12th at that's the Salisbury correct. Zoo. All correct. right. So take part in one of the two. Correct. Sign up to be part of Lori's Angels. She'll that would be that. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank for coming. You. You're you're thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about the local walks to help create a world free of MS, all you have to do is visit our website at wboc.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Now, when it comes to conditions like multiple sclerosis, what's old is new again. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, why an ancient therapy using Bee venom is all the buzz when it comes to pain relief in patients with MS and arthritis. But it's not just bees offering pain relief to arthritis sufferings. Find out how a mixture of essential oils and goat's milk is proving to be the right combination for relieving debilitating pain. You're going to hear the science behind it next. But first, let's make a stop in Rachel Ray's kitchen. She has a handy how-to tip for your can opener. Did you know that your can opener could be one of the dirtiest things in your kitchen? It's almost impossible to clean in between the blade and the gear. That's another great use for wax paper. Just open some wax paper and it'll get right into every little nook and cranny. Hey, next time you have a couple of extra cans, why don't you stop by and donate them to your local food bank?